I saw the new Joker movie last night. Ooh, I saw the first one. It was, I mean, his performance was just so creepy and so powerful. It was fantastic. So how was the second one? Yeah, well, his acting is is, is great. Uh, and just like There's the first... There's a in there. What's going on? No, no, no. His acting was, it was great. A big improvement over the last thing I saw him in, which was Napoleon. Right. Um... <laughs> But, well, that, that, that's that's like rock bottom. Napoleon was just so hideous, <laughs> right? And, um, and, but uh, yeah. this this so this movie, yeah, the acting is great um, all around, not just him. But the first thing you need to understand about it is it's a musical. What? It, like it's it's a musical. Most of it's in his head, like he's because he's crazy. But a lot there's tons of musical numbers in his head. Um, <laughs> well, that's kind of really fun in a dark, kind of sinister way. Which ma- I think it's a great idea that, but it it makes it sound more fun than it is. Uh, I think they did not follow some very traditional musical structure. Songs in a musical are meant to advance the story or tell you something new about the character, or what they want and what this is. They had a ton of songs and most of them kind of had the same energy and kind of were telling you the same thing. So by, I don't even remember. So it was rem- kind of monotonous? A, a little bit. They, they were fun, but they were also, like, they went on too long. This movie went on too long. It, it, it was like, it did not need to be this long at all. How long is it? It's like two hours and 17 minutes. Oh, okay. But, which is not long in principle. It's just, the musical numbers, it it felt like a gimmick. It didn't feel like, and it felt like an overused gimmick. Like, Uh, they, it's just like, okay, now we're going to have a musical number, but the musical number doesn't really tell us anything new or advance the story. It just feels like the plot kind of stops. And, and then has his music number, and then goes back again. Yeah, and, and like I and rinse it rinse and repeat. And it kept doing it. I I get I get you want to put as many in there. You got Lady Gaga. You want to use Lady Gaga. I get oh, that. Oh yeah. I mean, okay. and she's great as Harley. Great Harley. I loved I loved her performance. It's fantastic. Uh, I enjoyed her a lot, but I don't think it fully worked. It it almost worked for me. Like there's parts. Like, there was a song that I was like, oh my god, another Muse song. And then in the middle of it, I was like, no, I actually, I kind of like this one. But it tells you a lot. It's kind of how I felt about almost all the songs, where when he start, they start, the start the song, I'm like, oh my god, another song. And then in the middle of it, I'm like, oh yeah, I like this. But there's clearly a disconnect there, like the flow between the scenes that aren't musicals and the scenes that are musical, it, I guess is choppy because it kept taking me out every single time. So I don't know. The big problem with it for me was just the ending. It, I get that it. The whole premise of this is like, joke. What if Joker was a realistic person, right? Like, what would that person really be like? And it's all about realism and and cutting away the fantasy. I get that, but we don't usually go to the movies for reality. We. <laughs> <laughs> I I know I don't. When we, I, I want, I want to be entertained. I want escapism. Yeah, which, which so this is I, not I Star Wars. This Harry is not. Potter, this Lord is Lane. not that. Yeah. Which I understand. That's not that. I get that. But usually, when you tell a story, it needs to have a narr. There, there's something narratively satisfying about it, or at least you're trying to say something with the story. I by the end of it, it felt the entire movie felt meaningless. Like, like, why, it, there, it, it said nothing. It was about oh. nothing. And I, and I'm sure you could say I'm misunderstanding it, I'm not getting it. I think I do get it. It's just, I don't think it, what it's trying to do makes for a good story. Yeah, it, you, did you see the first one? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Because I liked how it ended. The, the, the end, that one that's the a thing. The first, the first one, as as like hard it is to watch and rough it is to watch, feels like a narratively satisfying story. It is telling it. It's rough, 
but it's yeah. saying something and it's it's meaningful and it, it and it feels narrat- like a narrative this right. doesn't it doesn't. That's very interesting. It's sort of like uh, singing in the rain where all of a sudden they throw in this whole sequence and then you're back to the story again. No. Okay. I mean, yes, because it's it's inspired by those movies of those time. Like, a lot of the, the musical breaks have very old-school Hollywood energy. Uh, that's that's kind right. of what they're channeling. And it's it's nice. I feel and like it wasn't for me... It didn't end strong, is what you're saying. No, it could have. It almost did. Like, it it clearly had the idea. Like, it almost ended strong, and then it decided almost to subvert your expectations or something to not end in the way that it probably should have, and went on for, like, ten more minutes, and ended in a, a less satisfying fashion. Mm, okay. So, I... I I understand what they're going for. I just now, don't did think they ended in that way just because they can have another sequel. No, or... the opposite. I, oh. They ended it in a way to make sure they wouldn't have another sequel. Ah, okay. It's very conclusive, but I, uh, I, I mean, there's there's great things in it. The performances are 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 very fun and 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 good. And the opening, oh my god, I gotta talk about the opening. The opening is the best thing. I we were running late to the th- the theater, so I was ho- I was worried I'd miss the opening. I didn't. Thank God I didn't, because the opening's the best part. They did like this little almost Looney Tunes esque cartoon about Joker in the opening. <laughs> How fabulous! That's it so is awesome. fantastic. It's the best part of that movie. It also is just like this great metaphor to bring you up to speed about what happened in the first one, like, just from a metaphorical, almost character perspective. <laughs> oh, okay, that's so fun. Okay. It, it's fantastic. It's, and, it's, the animation is so charming. It's, it's great. I love it. That, that part is the best. It's, it's great. It's, it's great. I love it. Okay. So, okay. that. Good to know. No, the, so. the, the movie has great parts, and the music is, is great. It's, it's just, it feels like it is a musical that was made by someone who doesn't, has never done a musical before. That is probably true. The, like, the kind of structure of musicals and how you weave them into the story, that kind of art is not really utilized properly. There are moments where they do. There are. I'm not saying they don't. There, they, there are, but a lot of them just feel just kind of the same, the same sort of thing over and over and over and over again and you're and i'm like okay you use this gimmick i I don't even know how many times there was a lot of songs like six seven times eight times and uh like i i have a different type of song or different type of meaning or have some tell the story i don't know it is what it is i like the beginning not the end and the music didn't seem to flow very well okay that's yeah. Transitions. Okay. Yeah, that's my that's my take on that. It, I think some people will will love it. It Okay. It wasn't for me, and I acknowledge I'm not the I'm probably not the target audience on that, and I I get that, but it's it's not for me. Okay. Well, I got to let you go. All right. Um I got to go uh get your got to go pick up your big little brother (laughs) so i'll talk to you soon talk to you soon and and Uh, bye angel (laughs) bye-bye like and i was like wait a minute did i miss something no you just you just said you just said and and then you just stop talking (laughs) sorry i got distracted shiny pretty